Hello, good morning. I am headed to the store. I'm gonna get some coffee. I've gotta get a few things. I haven't gone to the store to get a lot of summer decor because obviously all the stores have been closed and with things opening up and I'm feeling a little more comfortable to go out and shop like that again. So I thought I would finally go get some decor. I actually went yesterday to Hobby Lobby and they already had Christmas stuff out. I'm like, what the hell? Where's all your summer stuff? I think there were maybe like four or five aisles of fall stuff and then two or three aisles of Christmas stuff. I'm like, well, where's all the summer stuff? All the spring stuff was on sale, which I didn't need spring because we're past spring and I didn't really see anything that I liked. And a lot of the summer stuff at Hobby Lobby I've noticed is like, it's like for little kids. So, you know, like really bright and like flowers and flamingos and those sorts of things. And I'm just not into that. I want to, I want more of a green, natural looking space for summer decor. I'm afraid I'm not going to find much though today. I'm afraid a lot of the stores are like that. So we'll see. So I'm going to show you a day of kind of what I eat in a day when I'm out and about. This obviously isn't going to be the most healthy. The thing that I do on Saturdays is I will eat whatever I want, but I have to still track. I mean, I eat whatever I want anyway, but I will stay below 1500 calories during the week. And then on the weekends, I'll let loose a little, but I do track just to make sure I don't go like way overboard. You're gonna see that today. My first stop is to Caribou to get a caramel latte. Um, so I put that into my app already and that's about 380 calories or so. I already ordered it online. I'm just gonna go pick it up and then we will head to the store. Thank you for using Caribou. Can I get your first number? Um, I had an online order for Heather. All right, Heather, we have a drink up at the window. All right, thanks. Hi. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Ah, that's good. So I actually don't have my partner in crime with me today, my Luna. It's too hot today. We're under an excessive heat warning. It's gonna be like 93 today, but the real feel or whatever it's called is going to be like over 100. So I can't have her sitting in my car while I'm in the store. So I'm going to head to Home Goods and TJ Maxx and also Bath and Body Works. And the place I'm going, they're all right in the same strip mall. So that's great. I will see you guys when we get there. What you putting in All your hopes and efforts Are all in vain Who will pick you up When you've lost everything Okay, so I think that was a pretty successful trip. Home goods didn't have as much as I was hoping. TJ Maxx, I found a lot of stuff actually. It wasn't all Christmas and fall stuff, thank goodness. I also found this huge plant. I wasn't planning on getting a plant, but you know, every time I go into a store and see these plants, cause I, I really need one for my house, but every time they're like so expensive. And this huge thing, at Home Goods was only $79.99. That's an amazing price. Normally they're at least over $100 and it wasn't even on sale. And it's a big plant. It's not, I could barely fit it in my car as you can see. So that's awesome. And I'm actually thinking I am going to eat at home rather than out. I've spent enough money because I have some orange chicken left over from Trader Joe's that I think I will make with some fried rice. I'll show you that when I get home because that sounds like really good right now. So I will see you at home. All right, I just got home and I just have to show you. Look at that mask, that's gross. So I've got all of this stuff to put away. But first, I am going to eat. So I'm gonna make some of that leftover orange chicken that I have, and I also have vegetable fried rice. I'm gonna mix a half a cup of that with a cup of this cauliflower stir-fried rice.
All right, I am ready to dig in. There's some orange chicken and some veggie fried rice with cauliflower fried rice. And I've only got one uh, water left. So I gotta get some more of that at Target tomorrow. So I thought it'd be fun to do a quick little haul with you guys, show you what I got. Hope I remember where I got everything. Um, let's start with Bath and Body Works. So it's a semi-annual sale right now, so obviously I had to go in. First thing, I got this Sunset Glow Fine Fragrance Mist. I think this is a new scent. I haven't seen it before. Maybe I'm wrong. Fresh Coconut, Sparkling Cherry Seltzer, Dreamy Moonflower, and Caramelized Vanilla. And then here's some lotion in the same scent. Some body wash. Next, I got got a candle, cactus blossom. Mmm, smells good. It was hard to smell them in the store because I was wearing a mask, so I was like, <sighs> and hoping that I got the scent right. Fragrance notes of cactus flower petal, sun-kissed coconut, vanilla, fresh sparkling lemon with essential oils. My favorite, I love rose water and ivy. Oh, it smells so good. And then I got some wallflowers. Golden hibiscus, Caribbean Escape Gingham. Oops, I got one too many. And then sun Sunset Glow. Darn it, I missed count. I meant to get five. It's hard to shop with a mask because it keeps going up my face and then blocking my eyes. So I'm constantly like pulling down and then like trying to look to, at the at the sense and it's like, okay, <laughs> I can't do this. Obviously, because I couldn't count. All right, let's do TJ Maxx. So let's start this. I got a cutting board. I wanted some cutting boards to be able to lay out on my counters just as decor and also to use obviously but I wanted some nice quality ones and I'm trying to go for like a farmhouse theme throughout my house so I'm slowly trying to buy some things um, and then a smaller one and I got a Ray Dunn Live Love Bark canister. I have fallen in love with Ray Dunn. Um, I know it's the trendy thing to do, but I really like uh, Ray Dunn. I think everything of hers is so cute, which you will see in this haul. This is another Ray Dunn. It says Flourish on here. I'm not sure how I'm gonna style this. I'm planning on getting like shelves for in the kitchen on my wall that's kind of bare right now. And maybe I'll put this on there with some greenery inside or like lemon or something. I got another Ray Dunn flower pot and it says plant on it. Lemon tree, I thought this was super cute. I got this little mini wreath. I really love the look of this light green color. My old can opener broke, so I needed one of these. Right now I'm using my winter throw, which you can see right there on the couch. I finally got a summer throw. This is also Ray Dunn, and it's just all white, and then on the bottom it says home sweet home. I have been needing these every time I go to make like sauce. I'm like, I need one of these. I need one of these. And finally I found it. I got it. And they're actually pretty cheap. Only $3.99 for two bottles. I got this little plant it has a marble pot and it matches this little wreath. Another plant. All right, now let's move on to home goods. Curtains, they're actually really cheap for they're really tall, they're the 96. Um, I need these in my dining room. And they were only $29.99. I got some kitchen towels. I don't know if you can really see that. It's kind of like a light green color. I don't know if the camera is picking that up. This super cute box uh, with these plants that I like. And then there's some mason jars in here with these fake candles. Um, and it's battery powered, so you put batteries under there. And I think that's it. Oh, and I also got this tree I'll show you. So I'm not sure if this is where I'm gonna put it, but that's where it is for now. Like I said, this was super cheap. It was only $79.99 and look how tall it is. It's super tall. I tried putting it back there behind the chair, but it's a little too tall and it's hitting that shelf right there. I can't put it there. Um, so for now it's right right there in front of the window. The only thing is if someone's sitting there, they can't see the TV, so. But for now, I think it's pretty good. My tree outside is dead, so this kind of gives me a little more privacy that my dead tree doesn't give me. So I have a friend coming over and I'm gonna go show you guys what I'm going to make for dinner. So I have this chopped ranch salad that I got from Trader Joe's. And then on the grill right now, I have these ready to cook chicken wings. That is gonna be dinner tonight. I will have this chicken 
chicken with the salad and probably a few drinks. So my friend just left. So I had four pieces of chicken with some of that salad, probably about a cup and a half of it. And then I had about 10 ounces of margarita. So I tracked that. And like I said, I don't really, I mean, I still count calories on the weekend um, just because I need to make it a habit and keep doing it every single day. Otherwise I will just slowly fall off the wagon. But on the weekends, I kind of let loose a little and I don't really, worry about staying within my calorie range. I try to stay below 1500 during the week and then probably between 1500 and 2500 on the weekends. I just try to make sure that no matter what I track what I eat because when you track what you eat you tend to not get out of control. Now that I track what I eat my weekends aren't as out there as they used to be. Like I used to be able to eat like 3500 calories or more in a day on the weekend. But um, when you're tracking, you're much more cognizant of what you're putting in your mouth, and that really helps. So long story short, count your calories every single day, no matter what, even if you go over. Don't let that dictate everything. Like if you have a day where you need to eat more, you need to eat more, and that's that. And like I said, no food is off limits for me. I will eat whatever as long as it's within my calorie range, especially during the week. That's how I've been able to stay on track. Well, I probably shouldn't talk because I have gone off track the last few weeks because of the holidays and stuff, but in the beginning of the year, at least that's how I was able to be successful in losing weight. That's what I'm going back to now because that's what I know works. Do what works for you. That's the key. But that's it for today. It's almost eight o'clock here. I'm just gonna settle in for the night and watch maybe a little Netflix and relax. Thanks for watching my what I eat in a day weekend edition. I didn't eat out like I had planned, but it's probably a good thing. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button so you're notified every time I upload a video. Make sure you like this video if you liked it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. When you've lost everything Does it all become for granted With a wedding